In the next 60 seconds, I'm gonna show you all the electrical symbols that you need to know before you wire up a house. When I start getting into roping up a room, when I start doing the install, what I like to do is start laying out the devices. We know down below we're gonna have receptacles. We know up high we're gonna have switches. The switches are gonna control the lighting. The receptacles down below are gonna be for general power. But so when you're looking at a blueprint, when you're going to lay out the room, to be an electrician, you need to know what these symbols are. When you start going through these symbols, it gives you a visual of what's gonna take place. I wanna get a visual of what this is gonna look like. But you can see that we're using the same box down below as a switch box. So how are you gonna differentiate one box from the other? That's where these electrical symbols come in. Right here, we have what's known as a single gang box. The symbol for Inesh is telling us that this is gonna be a switch. What type of switch? Well, that's where the little keys come into play. We know this is a single pole switch. It's gonna control one set of lights. So what we're gonna do is put a S1. Throughout this project, you're gonna see the S symbol with multiple different types of numbers. You're gonna see S3 and you're gonna wonder, what is that? We're gonna get into that in a second video. But down below, we're also gonna see receptacles. And these receptacles is our general power for this room. The symbol for a receptacle, it's a circle with two lines in it, signifying or meaning that this is going to be a duplex receptacle. A duplex receptacle has two ports, one on top and one at the bottom. So we're gonna see that this is a general purpose receptacle with a single gang box. And we're over here, we have a single gang box with one switch, with one switch leg. 